So yesterday, Sony announces the Sony A6600. And I immediately think to myself, oh, what the hell? Let's talk about it. That video is coming up next. Hi, my name is Brian, the camera guy. If you're new to my channel, I review accessories and Sony camera gear. If that's something you're into, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. So yesterday, Sony announces the Sony A6600 along with the Sony A6100. Now the 6100 doesn't really confuse me at all, but the Sony A6600 does. So a couple months ago, I purchased the Sony A6400 and uh, waited probably about five, six months before I ultimately made that camera decision. Uh, I was considering full frame versus ASPC, and and ultimately I did decide to go with the Sony A6400, and uh, truly love this camera. I mean, it, I, I think it's an excellent camera. Uh, it does very well uh, with uh, obviously these talking head videos. Um, I like the small form factor. It's easy to carry around. It's got the flip-up screen. But there's a couple things that this camera lacks that uh, I really, really, really would have wanted. The first one is IBIS. So if you're using the standard 16 to 50 kit lens, the OSS in the lens does a great job of uh, stabilizing your footage for the most part. I mean, you get a little bit of micro jitter, but, uh, but, it, but it does a pretty good job. I do more than just this YouTube channel. Uh, I also have a family. I like to videotape them as, uh, as a responsible dad, and I enjoy, I enjoy watching those videos with them after I make them. Um, but you do, you do notice a little bit of that jitter. So, uh, so the one thing that this camera lacks is, is IBIS. And now the Sony a6600, which was just announced, is gonna, gonna offer that. And Sony, I, I should have seen it coming. Um, I watched all the videos on the 63 and the 6500, and everybody said, oh, a couple months later, they released the 6500, and I should have just held out for that. But you know what? I had my mind made up. I was gonna, I was gonna buy the 6400, and I was going for it. And uh, I've been very happy with it. Been absolutely very happy with it. But now the Sony A6600 got the, got the IBIS. It is quite a bit more, so it's, in my opinion, not just for the average person, but uh, it's for somebody who wants to take this a little bit more seriously. And uh, and I really want the IBIS because uh, I got the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4, which I have on right now, and uh, it does good in low light. So I enjoy uh, using that uh, when I get into dark areas, especially, like I said, when I'm videotaping the family. But that IBIS would have really helped. Uh, we just had uh, my daughter's birthday, and uh, we went to an aquarium by my house, and it was it was it was a little dark in there. So of course I threw on the Sigma 16 millimeter, uh, kept it at around f2 f f2.8, and um, and uh, I, I think the video footage came out good, but you know couldn't really just kind of carry it around and follow them and things like that. Um, and the 16, the 50 kit lens, um, uh, the, the aperture wasn't, uh, the aperture wouldn't open up wide enough. So unfortunately, you know, uh, the footage would have been very dark and uh, I'd rather sacrifice a little bit of stability for, to make sure that the footage is, is decently exposed so you can watch it, it's watchable. So the 6600 is gonna have the IBIS and, and now I'm thinking to myself, hmm, do I, do I go out and get the 6600? Do I keep the A6400? Do I upgrade to the 6600? Uh, the other thing it's got, it's got the bigger battery. It's got the Z battery. Uh, this battery, um, I'm able to get through a whole day with, with pretty much two batteries on this camera, but um, I basically am flipping the camera on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off all the time. And, um, and that's how I save my battery life. So, so you could definitely make it through a whole day. Now, if I was shooting a, a wedding or something like that, which I don't do, but you know, if I was shooting weddings or, or, or a long video, uh, music video or something like that, yeah, yeah, by all means, I mean, uh, these batteries are gonna drain fast. 
but uh, but that Z battery is nice and it also if they stick with the Z battery in the uh, a7 line um, it's gonna it's gonna really uh, really make it easier to upgrade because then you're gonna have all the batteries and, and things like that um, but then on top of it on top of it there's been a couple times I'm like mm, is the audio loud enough you know I, I mean it's got the audio it's got the audio uh, right up here you can see it on the on the flip up screen which to be honest with you, I love the flip-up screen. Um, but you can see the audio right here on, on the screen. And, and it looks like I'm at negative 12 decibels right now. Um, so, so that's perfect audio. But sometimes you just want to listen back to it. You know, do you hear, do you hear um, some background noise that's very distracting to your viewers? And, and, or, or even to, uh, you know, like I said, of making those home videos. One of the things that, uh, you know, you'd like to listen back to is is the audio uh, while you're out there in the field and uh, this thing this a6600 is gonna have gonna have the headphone jack so you can plug in a headphone you can listen to it and, and uh, find out if that audio quality is gonna be good enough so those three features alone fix pretty much all the gripes that you have about the a6400 you got the ibis you got the bigger battery you got you got the headphone jack you know, I, I love this A6400. I, I think it's a great camera. It's perfect for these talking heads, but if you're out there vlogging, you know, the footage can, can be a little shaky, even with that stabilized lens. And then if you, if you get the IBIS, which then you're watching all the videos and everybody's like, oh, the IBIS, it's not amazing, but, but, but it helps, but it helps. And you think to yourself, hmm, maybe I should, maybe I should upgrade. So I'm stuck. So do me a favor, help me out, comment down below. Let me know, what are you gonna do? What, sh what should I do? What should I do? Should I stick with the A6400, just roll with it? Or do I sell it and upgrade to the A6600? What to do? What to do? No, oh, my head hurts. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to see more. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Ugh, what to do? Thanks, Sony. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.